So there is no like voodoo things or anything magical that's gonna happen. It's as simple as that. It requires faith, faith and optimism. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome back. Today I'm gonna be speaking in English inshallah ta'ala because there's a sister that requested that I speak about this topic because she watched one of my videos. Inshallah ta'ala, bear with me. Those of you that speak Somali, I will inshallah ta'ala talk about this topic in Somali as well. The topic being inshallah the law of attraction and its place in Islam. As Muslims, what position should we take when it comes to law of attraction and uh, do we, uh, is it shirk? Uh, is it permissible to believe in law of attraction and so on? Before I go into that, before I go into answering that question, First of all, I want to say um, I have missed you so much. I want to be what he say, and I want what he say. Chalak inan kahlo. Anyhow, after salam, a disclaimer: I am not a sheikh, as I always say, and I am not an expert in religion whatsoever. But I'm just talking about my own personal opinion and what I heard and what I read. You know, my own interpretation. I know. Uh, we should not take matters into our own hands. We have to ask. Right. I have listened about this topic and what uh, ulama and sheikh say about it. And there, is, there are a lot of different uh, interpretations and you know positions to take. But what I believe, and as I said in my previous video, is that it all comes down to what your intentions are, what you believe, what you do, what what lies inside your heart basically as muslim people should we believe that anything other than allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us or grants us anything you know whether it's universe or someone else or anything like that no we believe that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us maybe it could be through a person maybe it could be through an, an event a situation that that's that when that's out of the way what I take from law of attraction in Islam is that it, as a Muslim we believe that we have we have faith in that things are uh, are gonna be good we are advised to be to have uh, optimism we are advised to make dua you know when you're making dua basically you're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you whatever you wish for or whether it's health or finances or good marriage or um, you know children or whatever so you're making dua for these things maybe Allah will grant you then and there whatever you were wishing for and as you were imagining it should be but often cases it could be in a different form in a different time in a different uh, situation maybe even in Akhara which is the ultimate reward that is uh, the dua part of my own inter interpretation how dua uh, connect is within the law of attraction you know and the faith the number one thing yeah is the faith that you believe that that will happen for you that is ultimately how it comes what it comes down to if you have the slightest shack it might not happen if you have the slightest doubt that it's not going to happen it might, it's likely that it doesn't happen so you have like 100% yaqeen. Yaqeen, what is it in English? It's uh, certainty. Certainty. You have to have that certainty. So when you have a certainty that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant you what you ask for, it will happen. And of course, we are asked also to do something. You know, you cannot just sit there. There's nothing free. You cannot just sit, sit there and say, I tawakkal to Allah. So there's tawakkul and there's aspect. The actions is required as well i don't believe that law of attraction there's nothing there's no such thing that i am gonna want something to the limit that it just basically falls from the sky and lands on my lap it doesn't work like that um but i believe that having certainty and faith that things will happen for you that they will happen for you and you have to make the efforts as well lastly you have to be optimist you know if it doesn't happen now or tomorrow or the next year, you just have to have that level of optimism and maintain it, you know? Like having constant faith that Allah wants the best for you. What is better than that? 
so basically bottom line is for your complete reliance on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala faith and yaqeen that, that he wants the best for you and one bonus advice reminder is that sadaqah is going to do wonders 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 you know basically if you say oh you know i don't think i can afford to you know give of some of my belongings whether that's money or whatever your things is not going to have barakah sadaqah brings more barakah the more you give the more you get so if we combine all of those things the the faith in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he will grant you the what, what way you wish for you know and and the yaqeen certainty and the optimism and dua and finally sadaqa so there's no like voodoo things or anything magical that's gonna happen it's as simple as that it requires faith faith and optimism um so yeah there you have it inshallah ta'ala until we meet next time inshallah assalamu alaikum wa